All right, so just made it here and uh, some good coffee over here. Um, for those of you guys that are not familiar, I have a coffee business. It's called 410 Co. And we import some of the best coffee in the world, and that's Haitian coffee. And uh, right now I am just going into every remote area here in the northern part of Haiti, high in the mountains, high ele elevation coffee. I am uh, actually contacting, um, getting together with farmers, local farmers, so I can, um, you know, I'm basically buying their coffee on the tree. They don't have to take it to the market. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, again, this area is known for coffee and, and some of the best coffee I've found here. And um, I've already explained this before, the coffee here, has been untouched since you know coffee was brought here from ethiopia and uh this is what you call pure organic strong coffee um i'm about to get with a few uh farmers and uh we'll get a con we'll get contracts going and come harvesting season which is about august september october uh be importing a couple of thousands probably pounds of coffee to the states and uh those coffee lovers if you love coffee and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel if you love coffee um i'm going to uh add the link to our website to the business on this video you guys can check it out and again the best coffee guaranteed and if you um get it i promise you're gonna be hooked it's the best coffee um so let me get, go ahead and get off the bike <laughs> i'm gonna flip flops and get off the bike and start checking out these uh, these coffee plants and talk, talk to the farmers and see if we can. Well, we are gonna strike a deal. I need this coffee, so and get off. Let's see what's popping. What are you going to do? I'm ready. So, guys, I'm looking for the absolute best coffee for you guys. Well, for the people that love the coffee already, those of you guys that haven't tried it, I suggest you do. I'm not bragging, but this is the best coffee in the world. Sayola? Okay, do you have a soup? Okay, okay. By the way, the ocean is right there. The view is here. Oh, breath taking. Um, so here, there's a problem with irrigation. It hasn't been raining. Um, but, you know, this is what all of them look like. Right now, you can see some of them not ripe yet. And because there's no water, this is what happened. My ultimate goal is to buy a nice, instead of a coffee farm, basically. and. I'll make sure the land is irrigated, that I have water coming into the land, so uh, so uh, the coffee can be, you know, can thrive. So the coffee can thrive, basically. So, so this is just this is on the side of the road. I'll be, um, I'm going to recharge these wherever it wants this. It's my baby on this side here. So most people here are subsistence farming farmers. They only, you know, they don't have a huge farm. You know, we can get hundreds of pounds of coffee, but I am going to get a hold of every single farmer here, and I will buy their coffee. And the goal is to get at least 500 pounds before I leave here, and I'll come back and uh, I'll leave in August. I'll come back in a couple of months. I'll be here for a couple of months, so I'll come back and uh, I'll get more. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Um, I see someone over there. Let me go ahead and go talk to them. And I have to stop at a couple of houses along the road. Along the road. So uh, it's gonna be a tiring day. I'm gonna be walking around all day. So stay tuned. <laughs> 